welcome back to my youtube channel so i had original plan and i wanted to film the intro and the outro with my completed look um and even though like i am still doing it on the laptop it's just not my laptop my laptop has been broken for like about two months now um maybe almost two months now and i've had this video done for a while but um i was just kind of lagging on sending sending the footage from my laptop to my phone and then i can't do that anymore because um it just doesn't want to turn on the laptop does not want to work anymore so even though i'm still giving the laptop um fantasy it's just not my laptop so i just wanted to explain that because i had this whole thing of like the look of the makeup look that you're gonna see before and after but now you can't so you're gonna see that all throughout the video except the intro and the outro and that's literally all i wanted to say so that's just like a clarification so now i'm gonna film the outro but cut to natalie without any makeup so here's the pre-makeup natalie version you can see this is my bare face um she's a bit rough like if we're gonna be real i've been having like crazy acne this week and i usually use these pimple patches that save my life every time insert here i ran out so i just been kind of letting them do their thing but I wanted to make the video and honestly acne is not anything crazy to show on camera i like to start off with my hair i know people are like very picky on like what the order is for outfit hair makeup this is my bare face but first we're gonna do how i do my hair so this is my natural hair i took a shower last night as you can see i have layers i actually am getting a haircut next week so it will be trimmed up but right now this is just whatever's been growing out so i'm gonna show you the products that i use i just brush it out and then i part it in the middle as much as i can because if i'm gonna be real i don't even think my hair is like perfectly in the middle i'm gonna use this stick i just part it in the middle as much as i think it is and then i go all the way back and then usually for whatever reason i start with my right side always first so we're gonna just put this to the side. I'm not really used to doing my hair like sitting down like this. I usually do it in the bathroom, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do it here. And then I just get like a good amount and I leave this behind and then I pin up the rest. This is the iron I use. If I'm gonna be 100% real, I took this from my mom years ago and you can see she's old. It used to honestly be like a rose gold and now she's just not cute anymore. So yeah, I just turned this on. Honestly, there's no specific heat setting that I really care for. And I'm gonna show you how I do like one strand of hair and then the rest is honestly just gonna be sped up because no one wants to sit and watch my whole hair for like however long it usually takes me. But like this and I twist I guess like inwards. I don't even know if that's actually correct, but you can kind of see me how I'm doing it. And voila, that's pretty much it. I just let it set like that. Um, and I'm going to repeat. So cut to the time lapse. <laughs> Okay, she is finally done. So I know people might not love how tight, or I don't think these are super tight, but they're not super loose as well, but it comes in handy for like the next day, like tomorrow, they're gonna be like a more of like a loose natural look. But um, that is pretty much 
it for the hair something that i've been wanting is like a hair oil and i've been wanting one from like olaplex or gisu because those are the ones i see a lot online a lot um but they're like way too pricey for my liking and then i went to target and i found this on the shelf so i decided to try it out and i love it so this is a thick and full biotin and collagen weightless oil mist the brand i'm assuming is ogx question mark don't know this is how it looks not only is it a spray because the other ones are like droplets or like you put it in your hand and put it in i don't really like the feeling of oil too much on my hand i don't know what it is like oil and lotion on my hand it feels i can't i can't stand it but i love a good spray so not only is it a spray it's an oil i like to use this because right now i would say my hair is genuinely like it looks pretty shiny there is just some days where my hair is like total burnt out and when i burn it even more it just looks really rough and really like just not cute so i use this and i just spray it right here and not only does it give like a shiny effect it smells really good like i'm assuming this is like a coconut kind of smell like i said i'm gonna be filming a video for my tiktok so i want my hair to be done i'm gonna see if i want to do a cute little hairstyle i have some ribbon that i want to put in my hair so i'm gonna figure out if i'm gonna do something with my hair and then i'll be right back okay now i just finished my hair as you can see i put it half of half down with a cute little pink satin bow um it's giving very much yours truly era but i just had to nod that and then i'm gonna show you guys what i use for my skincare like i said or my skin prep sorry skin is rough but we're gonna work with it because there's nothing else i can do first i go in with this is not my skincare routine per se but i'm just gonna show you what i like to do before i do my makeup i notice when it comes to my makeup and the days that it comes out really good is when i'm taking my time with each step it comes out really good but when i'm like rushing it just looks very sloppy and i feel like it doesn't want to stay going with the paula's choice exfoliate i love this and i got gifted this huge one for christmas thankfully because it's a bit pricey uh for this size of the bottle but i'm gonna just grab a cotton pad i used to just go in with my hands but um i like to use a cotton pad and just put some there and i just put it all around um I'm not too sure if the bottle requires for you to put it all over, but I just do it. Especially on my nose area. And you can see where the gunk is. I have to warn you, maybe putting that all over where my acne is flaring up wasn't a great idea, but because it does burn. But other than that, I don't really care, so what's done is done i need to prime my face with this milani make it last after i prepped my face with my milani i do the elf power grip primer this is one of my favorites from elf and i just put that all over my face <laughs> I could not figure out what the word was for this, but after I put the product in for the areas that I feel like are really red or just like need the coverage, I go in with my beauty blender and I just blend that right in. Shout out to my cousin Lexi if you're watching this. Shout out to giving me the NARS concealer because as much as I do love this concealer, this one matches more of my foundation color. I do think my foundation is a bit too dark um, sometimes. I think in the summertime it matches, but for right now, 
Um, this NARS one in vanilla is like perfect for my skin. Like, hello, you can't even see the redness anymore. And I'm really glad that she showed me this or just gave it to me because I'm gonna go buy more, especially for the days that I don't feel like doing a full face of makeup, but I just want a bit of cover. Now we're gonna go in with my foundation. Um, I think this is also called the Sweetener Foundation. I could be totally wrong, but from Miss Aryan Beauty. And this is in the shade Light ANW. I did shade match myself. So someone originally shade matched me for the concealer and they asked me if I wanted to be lighter than me or my same skin color. So I said same skin color. She shade matched me to what is like my skin color. So when it came to the foundation release, I was like, okay, I'm too nervous to ask someone to shade match me, but maybe I should. I'm not really sure. Sometimes this fits me perfectly and sometimes it does that. I just really think it depends on how much I use. Because a little does go a long way, but I basically looked online and found a similar name. So this one is Light 8 NW. And I just put a little bit on the back of my hand because like I said, a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> I just, like you can see, I just put that kind of everywhere and then I go in with the Real Technique, I don't know, it's this 200 brush. It's the Expert Face Brush. And this is my favorite thing to use to spread around the foundation. And then once after I feel like it's evenly spread around, I go in with, with the Beauty Blender and set everything in place. And then after that, I will spray it one more time and then blend it in one more time. I'm just telling you everything that I do so I can just, just record and not have to intervene the whole time. After that's all said and done, like I said, don't know if this is a perfect match, but um, I make it work, I hope. <laughs> the next thing is I just go in with a Q-tip and I clean my lips and then I also like to clean up my eyebrows because there's like foundation all over it. <laughs> I'm gonna go so I actually originally bought this brow gel from benefit brow I think that's what that brand is called okay and I brought it to Mexico so you're probably thinking okay where is this going I think I lost it I either think I left it there or I just don't know where I placed it at and it's long gone so I'm kind of disappointed because it was brand new and I only used it the week that I was there. My mom has a sample of Anastasia's brow gel, so I'm just going to use that for now since I don't feel like going out and buying another one. Okay, something different that I'm going to do in this video, if you did watch my other makeup video that I didn't do then, is I mentioned that I don't do my eyebrows besides like doing gel on them. And then I also mentioned the fact that I don't do any bronze or contouring, but... To step out of my comfort zone this year, I started doing it. So I just took this palette that I found in my mom's room. It's Revolution Makeup by London. It's called the Mega Bronzer in the shade 01 Cool. Like I said, I just took whatever she had because I don't have any. And I was like, I know she has some. And why am I going to go buy out something that I don't even know if I'm going to end up liking on me. So I don't do too much. All I do is I just grab this brush that I already had. I grab it and I put it on my forehead just to give me a bit of color. Next is powders. I like to use two. I use the Morphe powder, the Bacon Set Brightening Pink, and I use this usually for my forehead, under eyes, and around my nose. 
And then on my chin and mouth area, I like to go in with the e.l.f. HD powder translucent. Yeah, those are my pretty much my faves. <laughs> The Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray, and I'm gonna put this all over my face. Okay, so now that everything is set in place for the base, I'm going to add a bit of color. And I'm excited because I actually got something new. I got two new things, but for this part, I got a new blush. So in my last video, I was using a different one, but when I went to Mexico, that blush broke. Here's the remainder of that blush. I will still be using this, but I wanted a new one for once all the powder bits are done. I'm excited because something about Ariane Beauty was like, okay, something I love is blush, but they don't have any powder blushes. And then this year she released powder blushes, and of course she had to release the most perfect pink. This is it. It came in the middle yesterday, so I still haven't tried it yet. It's in the shade Pinking of You, and I'm super excited. I'm low-key, my goal is to like get a full face of all her makeup. I already have her concealer, foundation, and um, now I have blush. So I think the next thing I would get would be like a bronzer since I'm getting into my bronzer era. And I still need to try out one of her lip liners, but look at that. It's so beautiful. I don't even want to ruin it, but even the case is so pretty. So cute. I'm I'm nervous, but like I'm excited to try it out. So and for my blush brush, I use the Real Technique 400, and this is the blush brush. It looks like this. <laughs> Although sometimes I like to also go in with like a smaller brush to give a more precise look because I like to blend the blush underneath my eye. And today I'm gonna do like a fun look, like some eyeshadow. So, so the look I'm going for, ignore the fact that I don't have a case on, I usually do, I'm just filming another video for my TikTok, whatever, okay. Um, I'm going to base my look off of this beautiful girl. That's why I beat the pink ribbon so I can give off the same vibe or try to. Not going to do the eyeliner though, don't get me wrong, love it, but can't do it myself. So I'm just gonna do this like brown and then like a lighter beige color in the middle. I attempted to do something a bit different for the eyeshadow look. Now we're gonna go in with some mascara. So I have two options. This one I just stole from my mom's room. It's called Velour, never heard of it, but it's pretty thick. And then I also like to clean it up with the Pillow Talk push-up lashes from Charlotte Tilsbury. I heard it's actually really bad if you curl your lashes when you already have mascara on, but I always forget to do it beforehand, so um, do it with what you will. And now that we're done with that, we're gonna go in with the lip liner, which I love to use. This is my favorite lip liner of all time, and it's just really hard to get, but it's the Rimmel London Lip Liner in the shade Cappuccino. So good. Last item that I got is also new, is the new Ariane Beauty Glossy Bombs that she just released. Another thing I showed in my last video, if you remember, besides the blush, I also got this pink lip gloss. And not that anything's wrong with that lip gloss, I lost it. So when I saw that she was releasing one in this, like the same kind of pink, I was like, I have to. I love a brown pink lip combo. So this is 
the one we're gonna use. It's in the shade Skinny Dipped. It's a very purpley pink, I will have to admit, but honestly, it's gonna do the trick. I, I just know it is. <laughs> Now that we have that done, we're gonna go in one last time. And that is it. I'm just gonna let this cool down. And that's it for the makeup tutorial. Okay, so that was it for the video. You couldn't really get a better look of the look. Like I feel like I didn't film a better Point of view because the better point of view was on the laptop and now it's been months or like a month past since i filmed that video so um i hope you guys liked it though um i know i already did this video like i already did a makeup video earlier this year but i decided to delete it because i wasn't a huge fan of the way it came out and i feel like it was flopping um and i thought i could do it a little bit better especially if i added my hair routine today my hair is giving really curly like really curly than it usually is but that's it for the video and don't forget to follow me on all my social media because i feel like i didn't mention that at all follow me on my tiktok my instagram pinterest spotify i don't know yeah pretty much um and now we're gonna do the media of the week and I think I want to do a very spring edition, even though it literally is already the summertime. By the time you guys are going to see this, by the time I'm filming this, it's already summertime. But hey, I didn't show you guys my spring playlist. I only showed you guys my summer playlist. So we're going to rewind back a bit and show you guys like some favorite springy songs. I don't know if that makes any sense. We got Uptown Girl by Billy Joel. Like I know I'm late to this song, but this song is so good Maybe I'm Yours by Cass Elliot is such a good song I love it so much and I know it's pretty popular so This one's actually new, but Birds of a Feather by Billie Eilish. Such a cute song, I love it. Nymphology by Melanie Martinez. I would say pretty much most of the songs from Portals are giving me that very ethereal spring feel. But Nymphology is really good. Portals is just very underrated itself. The song is from a like small duo of two girls that I found on TikTok. They're called the Tulips, and this song is called Pretty Funny, and it's really good. And I would say their kind of music is very much what I'm into. So. The Love Club by Lord. This really just takes me back to watching Bethany Moda and she would always have this in her videos. I'm in a clip but I want out. It's not the same as when I was. Okay, that was it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um I thought I had or at least I felt like I had a lot more spring songs but those were it let me know what you guys want to see next from me i have a very exciting package coming in soon so let me know if you want to see a 
haul of some sort or I'll either I'll do like a summer summer whatever I've been I haven't really bought much clothes but I do have some stuff that I bought earlier this year so either if you want to see like a haul like a summer haul of some sort or if you want to see a lookbook which I haven't really done like an outfit lookbook in such a long time on this channel so let me know what you guys want to see and I'll try to do that but you guys enjoy this video bye girlies <laughs>